It was the story of the author, who was a student back then. Her name is Bettina Gapa when she first explored London. Summer of 1997 when she decided to visit and ride the National Express coach from Cambridge. She remembers feeling uneasy because of the driver's tattooed arms that covered his wrist, his shaven head, and most especially his loud cockney accent. But what surprised her was a sweet manner from the driver when he returned her change. She had always imagined what it would be like in London. She saw the places that she never thought she would see in person. Places like the Pudding Lane, Westminster Abbey, the Old Bailey, the sparkling dirty Thames that she usually saw in television and the books she read. After some time, she finally went off at Hyde Park. From there, she walks from the Marble Arch entrance and decided to eat her lunch. She was amazed at how diverse the place is. She saw Hare Krishna dancers and she almost became a part of the crowd which consists of middle-aged women, men in white trousers, and women who are wearing a sari accessorized clothing with a colorful woven bags from Latin America. As she walked past by them, she then saw a bearded Christian evangelist preacher who do not seem to believe their own claims. Together with the members of the International Socialist Organization, who speak as though the Berlin Wall was still to fall, as well as the group of students campaigning against a multinational that was forcing infant formula on women in developing countries, making her feel guilty because all she knows was the multinational's famed chocolate bar. She had her lunch at the Rose Garden and then went to see the Rotten Row, which reminded her of home back in Zimbabwe. She spent an hour wandering in a happy days in Hyde Park, particularly the moving Holocaust Memorial with its text from the Book of Lamentations, even though she visited the place numerous times already. The place makes her love London more. She often visits the Speaker's Corner too, as it is famously associated with freedom of speech, but what makes her love the place more is about how accepting the British people are when it comes to eccentricity. Patina Gapa is from a city in disguise of a village wherein to be present is to invite attention based on the appearance or well-being and that she could disappear into her own world in the middle of a communal park. By visiting London, it reminded her of its own home, not just because of some place, but by how this country depicts similar diversity and freedom for its people. Thoughts like Harari could one day be like London, as how she sees it from her own perspective.